Now, if you watched my Excel 2007 training videos, we went over what a macro was or is. And in Excel, it was a recording of a bunch of steps that we could later play back and have it quickly repeat those steps and apply those actions for us. Well, it's going to be a little bit different in Access in that we're not going to be recording any of our steps. Instead, we're going to be programming the steps within a little program called a macro. The purpose of it is to help us streamline or make more efficient our data or how we're going to get our data. First of all, we're going to start off with a very simple macro that when we run it, it's going to open up a form for us. I mean, we can come over here and double click to open up a form, right? Well, I'm going to show you the basics of a macro and then we'll kick it up a little bit so at least you get the foundation of what it can do now. To create a macro, come up here and click on the Create tab, go over to the other group, either click on the Macro button or click on the drop down arrow and click on the Macro button down below. When you click on it, it brings up a new window here. It's our macro window where we can select from a list of actions here to do and then over to the right add the comments of what we're trying to do. The comments have nothing to do with the uh, coding or the action of the macro. It's just telling us or basically documenting what we think or what we want this action to do. So if anybody else opens up a macro, they can read it over here and not try to figure out all the coding or actions over to the left here. So the first action I want to perform is called an echo. I'm going to come up here, click on the first action drop down arrow, and it's alphabetized A all the way down through S's. Now, by default, there's about 40-ish macros here. I can't see them all, and it doesn't list some of them. Uh, there should be about over 70. If you don't see them here, let me click off in a blank area, you want to come up here and say, show all the actions. Now, there's a difference between the two. Well, first of all, when you say show all, it shows all of them. It shows the additional macros that Access has some security issues with. In other words, if you show all the macros and of the additional 30, you use one of those 30 within your macros here, the actions, and you send this database off to somebody else, it's going to have a little yield sign over here saying, hey, you want to be careful, this macro can be customized in a way that it could do damage to your computer. It doesn't mean it will, it's just trying to take precautionary steps in some of the macros that could not be safe. So that's why by default it doesn't show all of them, okay? So when I click on it, it lists all the macros here including my echo. Now if you don't know what an echo is, well first of all select it and then down below here you get the notes, it hides or shows the results of a macro while it runs. Meaning that if I have all these actions like opening up a form at the same record that I left of this other form and so on, do you want to see it running all that computer or calculation in the background? No. So I want to be able to hide it. How do I hide it? Down below by default it says that the echo is on. It's going to show all the uh, programming or actions that are being taken when I run this macro. So if I double click on it, it'll turn it to no. So it'll hide the results until the macro is finished. And you can see the argument here. Like I said, you can have that on or off. We're not going to do anything with the arguments. And then over here for comments you could say hide. And that's all it does. It just hides all the actions when you run the macro. So the next action is, is I want to be able to open up a form. Well, let's see if we have an action here that will open up a form. In fact, if you click in here and you type in the letter O, it takes us right to the O's. Open table, open report, there we go, open form. Once I select the open form, it's got the arguments, but it's not completely detailed because what form do I want to open? Well, if I come down here and I click in the form name, I can click the drop down arrow and I've got two to choose from because they're listed over here. You can see all my forms, contact and customer info. I'm going to go ahead and choose contact. So when I run the macro, it's going to open up the contact form. That's it. Come up here and click on the save button. I'm going to give it the three letter prefix MCR for macro and then type in and click OK. You can see down where I have in the navigation pane all objects listed. It add the macro right there. I'm going to go ahead and close out and take it for a test drive. So when I double click on it, does it open up the contact form? I just did, didn't it? You want to see that again? That was cool. Okay, in the next training video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this macro a button. So let's say I've got a form I'm in. I want to have an open form button that I can click on. When I click on the button, it'll run the macro and open up this form. So watch the next training video on the macro button. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.